Every living organism goes through cycles of sleep and activity. The average human being sleeps about six to eight hours a night, almost 50 hours a week, and more than 2,600 hours a year. We spend almost 21 years of our lives asleep. In a normal person, the optimal amount of sleep is about eight hours per night, of which at least one third is deep sleep. This deep sleep is interrupted every 45 minutes or so with dream sleep, followed by light sleep. Dream sleep is responsible for discharge of emotional stresses that have accumulated as a result of experiences during the day or experiences in the past. It is during this stage that our brains process memories. And during the deepest phase of sleep, which is deep sleep, our long-term memories and short-term memories are both processed and stored. When we are deprived of sleep, we are more susceptible to every kind of illness. And because sleep regulates hormone levels, lack of sleep can also cause disturbances in metabolism that lead to obesity and weight gain. Besides the physical damage caused by sleep deprivation, there's also loss of mental clarity and inability to focus. A person deprived of sleep and a person intoxicated with high levels of alcohol can display the same lack of neuromuscular coordination and loss of focused attention. In fact, sleep deprivation is now believed to have been a major factor in the Challenger space tragedy, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and also in the Exxon oil spill. Most people in Western societies look at sleep as a reparative mechanism for our biology, which it is. But understanding the spiritual dynamics of sleep can also give us a clue to the mysteries of enlightenment. In the Eastern spiritual traditions of the world, deep sleep is a non-local state of awareness. It is the return to the original spirit or consciousness from which we incarnated as human beings. That is why deep sleep results in a feeling of freshness, just like a baby is fresh when it incarnates from the same domain. When we are in perfect harmony with nature's rhythms, then our sleep is effortless, joyful, and blissful. The movement of the earth as it spins on its axis, the earth going around the sun, the sun, moon, and earth moving in relationship to each other and the stars, the push and pull of ocean tides. These are the cycles and seasons that are programmed into our bodily rhythms. And we dance to this music even though we can't play the tune. The harmony, the music of the cosmos is imprinted in our bodies. Now let me ask you a question. When you wake up in the morning, does your body feel joyfully energetic? Is your mind restfully alert and clear? In other words, did you sleep well? If not, what are you going to do about it?